Chapter 7 Plain Figures Part 1 Here we do have a triangle. A triangle looks like this one. It has three sides. The next is square. Square has four sides. Here there is a rectangle. The rectangle has four sides. The opposite sides are equal. But in square, all the sides are equal. Here you do have pentagon. The pentagon has five sides. Here there is a hexagon. A hexagon has six sides. Here there is heptagon. Heptagon has seven sides. Polygons. Polygons are figures that are closed and also made of straight line segments. Polygons are figures. They are closed by line segments. Names of some common polygons are as follows. Three sides of polygons are called triangle as we have seen if the number of sides are three the figure is called triangle four sides of polygons are called quadrilateral as we have seen square is quadrilateral rectangle is quadrilateral it has four sides quadri means four lateral means sides Five sides of polygons are called pentagon. Six sides of polygons are called hexagon. Seven sides of polygons are called heptagon. Eight sides of polygons are called octagon. Nine sides of polygons are called nonagon. Ten sides of polygons are called decagon. N sides of polygons are called n-gon. Therefore, you should recall the names of polygons. Vertices in sides. The figure at the right is a polygon. This figure is a polygon. It is made of straight lines. It is also called hexagon. The corners of the hexagon A, B, C, D, E, F are called vertices. The singular form is vertex and the plural is vertices. We use capital letters to name vertices. The corners are vertices and AB is a side, BC is second side, CD is third side, DE is fourth side, fourth side, EF is fifth side, FA is sixth side. The line segments that make up the hexagon are A, B, B, C, C, D, D, E, E, F, and F, A are the sides of the hexagon. A hexagon has six sides and six vertices. Triangles A triangle has three sides. Triangles can be classified according to the length of the sides. A triangle with three sides 
equal sides is called equilateral. A triangle with two sides equal is called isosceles. A triangle with three sides of different lengths is called scalene. Therefore, we classify a triangle according its lengths of sides. A triangle with three sides are equal. If the three sides are equal, then the triangle is called equilateral triangle. A triangle with only two sides equal, then it is called isosceles. A triangle with three sides of different lengths, if the three sides are different in length, then it is called scalene. This first one is equilateral. The second one is isosceles. The third one is scalene. Lines. A line means a straight line. When we say a line, it means straight line. Through two points, we could draw only one line. Points that lie on a straight line are called collinear points. Points that lie on a straight line. They are called collinear points. Exercise. How many line segments join three points on a circle? Solution. First, let's draw the diagram. Here, there is a circle with three points. When we join the three points, when we join the three points, we do have a triangle. There are three line segments which join the three points. Number two, how many line segments join five points on a circle? First, let's draw the diagram. We plot on the circle. Then we join the five points. After we join the five points, we will have one, two, three, four, five lines. There are five line segments. Number three. How many line segments join six points on a circle? As we have seen above, the number of points on a circle are the same to the number of line segments joining the points. Therefore, there are six line segments on the circle. MB, attention, in a polygon, a line segment joining two vertices of the polygon is called a diagonal. If we join two vertices, then we will create diagonal. Example, in the figure below, the line segment joining points A and B is a diagonal. If we join A and B, then it will create a diagonal. We can create another diagonal also. Through just two points. And again, we can create another diagonal through Exercise number one. How many diagonals has triangle? In one triangle, how many diagonals are there? A quadrilateral. What about a quadrilateral? A pentagon, a hexagon. Solution. First, let's draw triangle. Quadrilateral, pentagon, a hexagon. First, let's draw a triangle, then quadrilateral, then pentagon, then hexagon. 
in a triangle there is no diagonal for quadrilateral there are two there are two diagonals in this quadrilateral for pentagon there are five diagonals here if we count one two three four and five there are five diagonals for hexagon there are eight diagonals here if we join the vertices then there are eight diagonals here we can count it number two complete the following table if the number of sides of the polygon are given find the number of diagonals that can be drawn number of diagonals in triangle there are no diagonals for quadrilateral there are two diagonals for pentagon there are five diagonals for hexagon there are nine diagonals for heptagon there are 14 number of diagonals for octagon there are 20 number of diagonals for nonagon there are 27 diagonals for decagon there are 35 diagonals for triangle it is 3 then 2 5 9 14 20 27 35 number three derive the formula for the number of diagonals in a polygon of n sides the formula for the number of diagonals that can be drawn is n times in bracket n minus 3 over 2 where n is number of sides let's take octagon for octagon the number of sides is 8 we know it is 8 then in order to find the number of diagonals in octagon 8 times in bracket 8 minus 3 over 2 8 minus 3 is 5 5 times 8 is 40 40 divided by 2 is 20 